First time at well, not mine. I mean, not theirs, but it's my first time. Me, you, yeah. I think it's just me and you yeah. and Nate and Zelda. Our first time. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Pinkies up. Oh, I know what you're pointing at, but yeah, we'll see how when we get inside. Okay. Uh, is it sweet, medium, sweet? Sweet. Mm -hmm. See the sun coming out now. The rose makes it a medium sweet with a little tang. To okay. It. Um, if you're a Bel Air fan, I'm sure <laughs> myself. Hey, we go get the uh, cheese. I'm not getting the cheese. Yeah, cheese is over. Pull me up. Ninety-three. Ninety-three percent wood. No, no, no. Nineteen ninety-three aged. Oh, okay. Not really. It's just because he moved over. Thank you, sir. More or less. 
No, that's good. I just want to say shit first. They was too hard. She worried about how my vlog looking, but she don't ever want to be on the vlog. Nate gonna get the cheese. <laughs> Let's see. Stop Is being, it? I stopped being the errand boy. Right? I almost spit this wine out, please. <laughs> I'm going to get the cheese. Yes. Weak. Shawty asked me, who are you? I said, wait a minute. Who are you? Man? Are you staying here? There it is. Here? Are you staying here? Who oh, said you're that? the one that's staying here. Not you're the one. Who said that? So whoever the lady was. Oh, uh. <laughs> Man, what's that? We're on the Georgia Cherokee Rose. The Cherokee Rose. Hey. <laughs> Damn. Come, come on, come get it. I like that one. It's Meet a little strong. Halfway. What's a little strong? Nick. Aaron boy. Nah, you ain't gonna play me like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, follow me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. All right, we got the tropical breeze next. Everybody's still on the, sh uh, what's that, the rose? Yeah. Hold on, you say. No, and she's trying to take a picture of her man. Anyway, you need another chair. Please. I'm I think I'm a light. What y'all doing? Oh, y'all here. Y'all here. No, 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 y'all here. Come on, girl. Sounds like peer pressure to me. Come on, girl. Cause I was finding my balance here. Okay, guys, we got a great wine with natural flavors. Okay. The tropical. Is it good? Uh, we ain't trying to eat it. Yeah, I like that better than the cherry keep going. I gotta put my palate before I try something. Who had the cherry keep going? It ain't me. That's the only thing about a white vehicle. It's gonna leave a mark. Yeah, that's the only part that I always told me not to get a white vehicle. Mm. Mm. I like I like the like, it don't be bad as a black people. The only thing with black and white cars, and they show dirt with black. Pilot? Oh my God. Oh, it show dirt clean. It it's don't. worse on black. White or black, period. It's bad. Oh, it's nasty, Okay, treat it. Give it a man. That's what we were talking about. It's so crazy. 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 It's so Don't play with them tacos. Don't play with them tacos. I said, Anna was cooking that with the friends outside. And they got to happen every Tuesday. I will raise a little one and be like, tacos again? No, no, please. Tell it. Anaya be requesting, Mommy, you ain't got tacos today. Who is y'all? Don't worry, I got you. I got you this week. We're going to make a whole meal. I'll be here Friday. I'm going grocery shopping soon. I'll be back on my side of town, bro. I got you, bro. Hey, hold on. I never knew how to grill, though. I never knew how to grill. I could only season. That was Mama. When Mama moved in. When my mom moved in, she started grilling. Mama knew how to grill? Oh, no. Yeah, I just when, when Nate said he gonna grill, I ain't never gonna grill. I'm not so playing on it. I be like a little faggot in jail. I think that's a man. Like, yeah, yeah I'll just is. whenever a man goes. It's go. sexist, but I really think. Yeah. That well, I know a lot of women. Doing it is awesome, but yeah. if you see a couple, she be like, get through it. Because I got the side. You got the kitchen and season. I don't plan on ever learning how to grill. That's maybe a man said he grill. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm not doing that. Yeah, I don't plan on ever learning how to grill. That's a man said he grilling. Okay, cool. I'm not getting on the grill. Right. Samaya. I don't, I don't think the cat is nasty. Yeah, he ain't got to because she got it under control. Chef. <laughs> Chef all the way. I think she loves yeah, the cook too. Mm -hmm. That's a whole other yeah. bargain. Yeah. She does. I like the cook too. I like the cook too.
o'clock to check her at the trees. And right now, I am actually cooking us lunch. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I just went on lunch right not too long ago. So I'm cooking us some chicken alfredo. I'm trying to cook it as quick as possible. Um, but y'all were saying that you want to see more cooking videos. So I rushed to go get my camera before the food was done. So you could just watch me cook. spaghetti noodles but yeah looks good. good afternoon it is may oh see i'm still in may june 3rd 2021 today is a thursday i'm actually warming up my food for lunch and i wanted to try this wine that i bought yesterday is bella boye um bella rosso sweet italian red um it says it's only 10 milligrams of sodium so you know that's perfect for me since i've been watching my sodium it says it has a balance of cherries and strawberries with a soft smooth finish enjoy with grilled meats pizza cheese and chocolate dessert so sounds like it's a pretty sweet wine i've never had it before but i did want to try it um i have went to the grocery store yesterday I have about this much with my chicken alfredo that I made yesterday and I got to taste it. I just wanted to, you know y'all to get the first see of how it tastes. That's all. This is good. This is um kind of tastes like Stella Rosa but not as sweet as Stella Rosa. But it's still very much so sweet. Let me see how much alcohol is in here. Uh, oh, it's only 5.5% alcohol, which is weak. Okay, I need like 11, 13. What are they doing? But this would be fine with my um, chicken alfredo. I just wanted to taste it. Um, so, 
<laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and eat that and um, have my lunch. After work, I'm going to wash a nice hair and I'm going to twist her hair up. So I told y'all that Anaya was having or experiencing some hair loss on her edges and it's gotten a little bit more extreme. So I did have to take her to the doctor. He said it was more so of her hairstyles, which, you know, I try to do protective styles and not anything that's pulling too tight. But clearly, with the nails, I must be doing it a little bit more tight than I think. So, we're staying away from braids and ponytails. I am going to twist her hair, though, because of her hair texture. That's the only thing that's going to keep her hair from being nappy and um, matted up if I leave it out. It's going to be a disaster for her and it's going to be a disaster for me trying to comb it out and I just don't have the time for it. So I'm going to wash it with her. I'm going to go back to the main choice um, brand to help her hair grow because I do believe in that brand. I used to use it myself and it did help me um, grow my hair when I first went natural um, back in college. And then um, after I uh, wash her hair with everything. I'm going to just twist it up with the basic products that I use, which is the pink moisturizer and some oil mixture to seal in the moisturizer. So, yeah, y'all will see me do that. I probably want to show you what me show you me washing her hair just due to how the kitchen is set up because I am going to watch it in the kitchen, wash it in the kitchen sink. But I am going to record the process of me actually twisting her hair. Uh, like I did once before so you will see that and then I have to do some personal stuff later tonight because I have an interview tomorrow for a promotion I also have to get some stuff together for that promotion or for that interview I have to do some extra work for my current position tonight and I also want to do some self-teaching tonight for credit repair so I have a long day ahead of me. I don't think I'm going to be going to sleep early tonight, although I'm already tired. And then tomorrow, that'll kind of be my relaxed day. Yayla will be here for the weekend. So I'll be going to the gym after work. And then that'll be like a nap. I can take a nap, um, more self learning and just stuff for myself. So that's that for the week recap or the week updates until we get there <laughs> so yeah i'll just see you guys when i see you guys she said hey
everybody today is sunday may 6th i am about to head to ross to go get a suitcase honey because i don't have no suitcase and i'm looking for my uh tripod for my camera but i don't know where it's at but this is what i'm wearing today i'm just i have on this um purple lilac crop top with these white shorts and i'm just wearing these white sandals i just got done filming a um bathing suit haul so that's why my makeup is all done um there it is that's some, it's right here i'm gonna go ahead and put this on but i'm about to head to ross um i need to eat lunch first i eat lunch when i get back it's still early um so yeah i'll just see y'all at ross So I found this and I'm kind of thinking about getting it to go over my bed. But I don't know. And then they have two feathers that are different. And I think those would be really cute in the bathroom. But where in the bathroom? I don't really have no space. And then they have this one, which is really cute for the bathroom. But again, where in the bathroom? So, and then these are cute. It's like two different, well that one, those two look the same, kind of. But yeah, that one's cute. I really like how colorful this one is, but I don't know where I would put that one. And then they have these flowers. This one is super cute. I like that one. I might get this, well, I need a blue one for the kitchen table. It's $12.99. That one's super small. This one's cute too. And that one's $12.99. Then they have these wall planters. This one's cute. But where would I put that? I just went into Ross TJ Maxx and Marshalls and nobody has luggage so I'm gonna go and look later but if I can't find anything I'm just gonna use what I already have as far as luggage is concerned uh, I don't really need it I just would want it for the flight because it'll be easier but um, I'm not really tripping if I can't find one but it's just the fact that and if I got none, it's like zero suitcases. TJ Maxx was the only place that actually had one, but they had the smallest size, like a carry-on size, and it was $300. $300. So, no, I'm not getting that. So, um, right now, I'm about to... I'm going to head to the house. Uh, it's 2 o'clock, 2.08. Yayla gets out of class at 2.30. So I'm going to head to the house, eat some lunch. Um, and I'm going to see if Yayla want to come out with me when she gets back. Because I just want to be there when she gets there. Um, see if we can find a different place to find some luggage. Um, if not, then... Um, if I if we don't go out or if I don't find luggage today, I'll look tomorrow and then I'm gonna teach her how to cook some 
macaroni and cheese, baked chicken, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, I'll just see you guys a little later today. I'm kind of out of breath from walking, but I'll see y'all later. All right, so I made it home. I'll um, show you what I got from um, Ross. So I picked up these decorative pillows. I feel like they go really good with the picture back there in which that's the color I'm adding to my living room decor. It's gonna be gray, black, white, and blue. Um, so I think it'll look good on the couch. So these are the pillows I have now. So we're gonna add these. And yeah, I think that looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo these. I was kind of afraid it wasn't gonna match, but it does. That means I need to switch out these blue flowers in its face. And these pillows were only $16.99 for two. And Walmart, they were like $20 for two so i think it was a steal and i'll take the, the paper tags off later i just want to see how it look on the couch so that's what it looks like now of course i'm gonna get rid of these pillows but they're just here for now so yeah you can see why I no longer want this. It just looks dingy and old and dark. But with these, it's bright. It goes, so yeah. That's that for the couch. And I also got this uh, tray for the fruit. This fruit bowl, that's what it's called. This was only $6.99. It's just a fruit bowl so I'm gonna add my fruit to this you about to go somewhere huh? you about to go somewhere interview. oh yeah you did say that are from the Le Chandelle line. This is the blackberry candle. Y'all, when I say it smells so good, it has a fruity scent. Um, Of course, it's a blackberry scent, but it smells really good. Most of the times the candles in like raw CJ Maxx, they don't smell the best, but this one smells really good. So I got that one. And then I also got the other candle must have fell out the bag in the car. But I also had a second candle. It was like black forest or wood forest or something like that. But it had a fruity smell as well and it smelled really good. Now I gotta go back to the car because it definitely came out the package. They wrapped it up so horribly. Um, but yeah, I'll get it later. I'm gonna eat. Um, but yeah, these are going to be the new candles that I burn. I'm probably going to actually add this one in here because my uh, opulent wolf baby is almost done. I'm actually about to light the rest of it and just let it um, fire up for the rest of the day. And I kind of want to keep the jar, but then again, I'm like, what am I going to put in it? Maybe like some Q-tips? I don't know. I might just keep it just in case, but I'm definitely going to order more of this scent and I want to try her Southern Southern Nights scent and she has another one I really like but I'm I'm getting more of her candles I need to burn her um lemon pound cake candles so I can tell y'all how that one smells but yeah right, I went and grabbed it while my food was cooling down but this one is called flower shop and they have like different flowers on the front, but it's by the Chandel, and these were both. These were both. Who am I out of breath? These were both eight ninety nine a piece, which is I think is a good price for um, eighteen ounces, an eighteen ounce candle. So yeah, this is an eight ounce, and this is a nine ounce, eighteen ounce, nine ounce, 
and this was $8.99. So yeah, um, I'm out of breath. Whew. So yeah, these are my two new candles. I'm gonna burn them one of these days. Y'all will see it. I know I stay burning the candle, so I'm about to eat lunch that I have left over from Cheesecake Factory. I didn't vlog that yesterday. Should have, but left my camera because it was storming. And I'm going to finish watching this movie I started watching yesterday called Um State of Play. So I'm gonna finish watching that um while I finish my lunch, and I'll see y'all after that.